Well, hey everybody, and welcome to another edition of Exploring in My Explorer. It's your girl, I love that Angel. Title. I love that title. Thank you. Now, you know this wonderful designer, man, person, friend. Legend. Legend. <laughs> Stan Herman needs no introduction, but I just have to say what a pleasure it is to have you here in My Explorer today. And we've known each other for over 20 years. It's about that. I can't believe it. It's about everything in my life is over. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, over 20 years, over 40 years, over 50 years. <gasps> Once in a while, under 50 years. Yes, I know. It's, yeah, it's it goes, so insane. It goes quickly, quickly. I use it well, though. You do. I use it well. You do. I can't believe you're still here at QVC. Absolutely. For uh, how many years now? Well, I'm on my 26th year. 26. So I'm one of the mature labels. One of the mature labels. I love that expression. You're a mature label. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sometimes you just want to go, really? Can't come up with a better word? <laughs> well, it's, it's okay. They can use it. As long as they keep me here, I like it. I enjoy it. Now it sort of comes easily to me. Yeah. In the beginning, I didn't know what I was doing. And then when I knew what I was doing, it wasn't so easy. And now that I don't know what I'm doing and do what I want to do, if ever I'm making no sense whatsoever. Yes. <laughs> you just have fun with it. I do. I do. I, something happens. My adrenaline, you must have the same feeling. Yeah. Suddenly the camera goes and I'm Mickey Rooney, Rock Hudson, everybody combined. Yes. I love that. It's a little performing. It's a lot a of little, performing. It's a lot of performing. Lot of performing. <laughs> it is. You might not know, but it is a lot no, of performing. It is. It's like yeah. it's show business. There's yeah. no business like show, show business, business like, like no business I know. <laughs> I love you, Stan. Where can we find you on social media? Well, you know, I'm a latecomer to these all these social medias, but I am on Facebook. I have lots of friends on Facebook. Now, I just got convinced to be on Instagram, so I am on Instagram. I'm terrible with it, but I'm there. I'm Good there. for you. Yeah. Good for you. I know it's, it takes a lot of pulling and tugging sometimes because it's so new. But you know, Angel, my, in my life is so strange because I have people taking care of me. Yeah. And when people take care of you, you forget how to use your own fingers and your own mind. So sometimes my Instagram account is ridiculous. If I didn't have somebody helping me, I would be lost in the stars. Okay. It's easy to do. Yeah. Yes. I know. So, uh, so would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Absolutely not. Okay. Uh, what led you to get into design, fashion design? You know, I, I'm actually finishing, I hope I'm finishing my memoir. I've started a long, 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 long time ago. Uh, I wrote it. I wasn't right. Uh, I showed it to a few people who liked it, but it wasn't right. But now I'm writing it as, believe it or not, a 90 year old. And when you look back, you, you start to add up the chits. How did I start that? Why did I start that? And the other night, I wrote the chapter on the first moment that I thought maybe I would be a designer when it was in my father's silk okay. uh, store. Okay. And he had all these patterns, advanced, McCall, simplicity, vogue. And I flipped the pages and I looked at these long, lanky figures and I said, hmm. That may have been the first glimmer of what I eventually became. And I'm like, a, I, I, when I focus on something, it happens. And so o over the years, even before I became a designer, I was in the army. I was- I, Yes, I, you served in Korea. I, well, I didn't, I was oh. smart. I went over to Germany. Okay. I went into the Alps and fell in love with mountains, but I could have gone to Korea easily. Okay. I just okay. didn't uh, go. And it was, that was a terrible war, by the way, mm -hmm. 50,000 troops gone for no good reason no good whatsoever reason. but when I eventually made up my mind that I wanted to be a designer a clothing designer I went right to it I focused on it and I was lucky I I, I, I immediately plugged in to the tip of the iceberg in fashion some people never get there I found the better designers I found the higher end people they seemed to like me and I seemed to motivate toward them some people never find that fach in their life. Mm -hmm. I did. I was very lucky that way. So going back, it was probably flipping those pages in my father's silk store wow. that made me feel that first rumble of, hmm, what is that about? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. That's so wonderful. Um, well, you know, since you've been designing and you thought maybe that was your first glimmer, do you think or do you believe that the way we address that what the way we dress affects how we think. 
that, that's a fascinating question. It's a, it, it, takes, it takes a long answer. You know, now yeah. in my mature years, people ask me all these things about fat. Let me just reverse it. Say right now, having been through uh, seven decades of designing and having seen fads go and come and people uh, go from bobby socks to no socks, people go from garters and girdles to Spanx. Uh, I do think that people dress because of the way they think, but I don't think they think enough about the way they dress. Okay. Uh, no, that's an excellent answer. Well, and I will say this, I get calls from a lot of people, oh, I hate the way people look today, there's no choices, I can't find clothes, I'm too big, I'm too small. I'm too... There are more choices out there than I've ever seen in my life. I go to stores and I get dizzy mm -hmm. just seeing the possible choices. Um, I think the most important thing you can do as a person and as a person dressing is to know your limitations and exploit your strengths. If you can do that, I'm a small guy. Uh, I've gotten even smaller. I said to Diane, I'm first read the other day, you're getting smaller than me. And she said, no, I'll never be as small as you are. <laughs> Ever. And and also also I actually I was at a party the other night with, with Ralph Lauren. I yes. know I'm dropping names, but no, no, I'll I, drop them anyway. I saw it on your social yeah. media actually, yes. And when I held on to I held on to him to give him a kiss for his fiftieth anniversary and his eightieth year in, in this world. And I said to him too, I said, We're getting small. <laughs> he said, No we're not. No we're not. But as a small person, if you keep your body, you can dress the same way you did when you were bigger and strappier as long as you don't mind if pe people looking at you you can dress up if you don't if you want to become a wall person a person that is not seen in the room then you just dress down mm -hmm. I'm right now I'm wearing black all black hits so you yes, are too. Me too but when I go on camera I'm I've got a, a plaid jacket that will be my statement then for the evening show, I'm putting on a velvet jacket. Ooh, that would be a bigger statement. Ooh, so that's velvet. the kind of thing we talk about in clothes. They become statement. They don't have to be big time, but they have to be sharp and linear. Okay. I love it. I could talk to you for hours. Oh, I could talk to you for hours. You know. <laughs> Do you? So, so I'm going to step away from fashion for a moment. Okay. Do you think that you could live in another country? besides America? I, I will give you a very honest answer. Again, that comes out of my writing this memoir. You find things about yourself that you never thought you could. I probably could live in in the Italian Alps. Oh. Uh, I am in love. I'm a, I'm a big classicist, classical music lover. I'm a big opera lover. There are four cities. There's Munich, there's Zurich, there's uh, 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 Vienna, uh, there's Geneva, there's, and then of course you can go up into, into the bigger cities in Europe that have great opera. I'm a, a man who loves mountains. I'm Virgo, so I'm earth sign, although I live on the beach. Uh, I miss the mountains. I could, I could live out my life in the Alps, but I'm very much a New Yorker who needs, who needs, I'm lucky. I have a house in the country, mm -hmm. you know, a house in the country. I'm able to get away. As you get older, you think more. You think more about time. You think more about the, less, the, the time that's in front of you, which is much less. And so I think about the mountains a lot. So up there, I'm going to go to a little festival up in, up in the Alps. Uh, it's part Italian, part German. And I'll listen to Mahler and fade away. <laughs> Wow. Oh, my goodness. I adore you so much. Oh, I can't even. <clears throat> so, um, I know that you have many, many talents. And uh, is one of them cooking? I used to be a fabulous cook. I used to be. I could have been. I, I was a very good cook. And my favorite thing to cook was always soup. Uh, I certainly, I, I learned early on to make a roux. Mm -hmm. uh, which I'm sure most cooks know about. And once you make that roux, you can make any soup you want. Mm -hmm. I could exist on soup even today. I find as I've gotten older, my ch I'm not as crazy about eating in general. Okay. Uh, sometimes I have to force myself to eat. I don't. For all the older people out there, uh, just make sure you eat enough. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to eat so too much to be healthy. I'm very healthy, but I don't eat a lot. But I make a good soup. I make a fabulous 
cucumber soup. Oh. Fabulous. Okay. And it's good cold, very good cold. I make a wonderful corn soup. It's very simple. It's both good cold and, and hot. Um, and I make a chicken soup, which has vermouth in it, that is as good as it get. My chicken Ooh. is so drunk when it's over with. <laughs> I was thinking, does that help with a cold? I, all I can tell you is the the mouth the, the mouth disappears, but there okay. it gives a it gives a certain frisson to you know the smell to the taste, and I after I finish the soup I make either rice, most of the time I put a bit of rice and put the soup over it, ladle it over it, um, put my dressings on it, and it's a way of life. Oh, it sounds it's amazing. I wouldn't say it's the best. I actually <clears throat> had the best chicken soup I had the other night. I live in New York in midtown Manhattan. I have choice of any kind of restaurant. I never went to this little bodega around the corner from me, a Cuban place. I went in. It was the only place open. I said, do you sell chicken soup? And she said, yes. I said, can I have some chicken soup? I am a Cuban chicken soup nut now. It is the best. I'm, is I, I'm, I have Jewish background. So everybody said, oh, Jewish chicken soup is, you know. Cuban is the best. Really? Oh my God. I don't know what they do to it. Okay. Those chickens dance. Okay. <laughs> that sounds amazing. It's, it's really great. Really great. Oh my goodness gracious. And it was right there all these years and I never knew it. You never knew. Never knew it. And now do you, have you gone back multiple Absolutely. times? Absolutely. I've tried all the other soups that are good, but not like the chicken soup. Amazing. Yep. It's very good for you too. Yes. I think psychologically, it's it's people like chicken soup. Calming. Do you and like chicken? Healthy. I do very much. Do you, the other thing that's happened to me as I've gotten older is that, um, and I think it happens to a lot of older people. I don't eat red meat as much. It's not that I dislike it. I it doesn't agree. Yes. With the same it's way. Harder to digest. I don't think it's the best yeah. thing for you. Uh, although my doctor said you you as long as you eat you you can eat whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Not next. We eat too much here. The, the, we do. the portions are too high, too big. If I get a lot of food on my plate, I just, I just, I'm not happy. Okay. Just like little bits. Well, little bits, you know, maybe we small people come in great packages. <laughs> Anything small. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. And then um, you're within your career. You've uh, been very accomplished. You've been given a lot of awards. You've Amazing. been honored. Yeah. Um, I'm getting another honor next this, this I Monday. I know, on Monday, Monday, yes. But that's an honor for, for being old. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm, it's, it's a silver honor. I'm being honored with Iris Apfel. You know Iris? Yes, Iris, sure. And they said I have to talk. She doesn't know I'm going to say some very profound things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you yeah. will. But yes. I, no, I, I've received what in our industry is considered the best you can get, which is the Lifetime Achievement. I've won three of uh, uh, Designer of the Year awards. I've been told I've done this and done that. I, uh, but you know, I'm one of those lucky people who found, I, I, I use the word a lot, fach, which is a, a thing that singers do. I'm a, you know, frustrated singer. I've yes. studied singing for years. And if, when a singer finds their fach, which is where they belong, uh, I found that, and I, I've had, I had a marvelous love affair in my life. I've had, as I finish up the ends, I, the family that I've created around me, uh, of friends and family, uh, is terrific. And now that I've told everybody how old I am, everybody comes up and bruise me with their pinching. They want, <laughs> they, 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 you're really that old? You're really that old? And I say, yes, I am. So it's been a good life. And here I am at QVC. I just drove down, took me an hour and 50 minutes from New York. I'll go on camera. I'll feel very good. I'll go back to the hotel, <sighs> exhausted. Yes. And continue. And here I am in an explorer, exploring life with you. I love it. Exploring life with you. What do you think has been your greatest accomplishment? I, I think, I don't, I don't want to sound silly and maudlin, but I think my best accomplishment has been the fact that so many people like me. I everybody think, does. I, everybody I, I, I loves. Don't, I don't Stan. know where that came from. You're kind I have entity, I have some enemies, but very few. I love most of the designers I've worked with, and you know all my peers. Uh, there are a few that I that will be in my book who I didn't, but but uh, I think that was my best accomplishment that I've surrounded my. You know, I never 
motivated toward lousy people. That's good. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I've never had a romance that would turn sour. I've never had an enemy that, that turned on me. And I think when you live as long as I have and you can turn back and look at those years and how they built up, that's what I'd say that, that with all the good things, it was the fact that I've developed all these wonderful friends that are still with me. You know, I got a, a birthday card for this, my 91st birthday, just this last year, from my first crush in kindergarten. You're kidding. I am not kidding you. Wow. Jean Bakelar, if you ever see this, <laughs> she's, in, she's in Richmond, Virginia. Her name is now Jean Lum. She was a beautiful girl in, in <laughs> most beautiful girl in my class. We still have a relationship. Isn't that wonderful? It is, it is. I call all the people that are important to me and try to keep in touch with them. I've got time to do it. The one thing I want to do before I finish everything is I do want to finish my memoir. I'm a very good writer. I'm too careful with it. Uh, I have a great title for the book. Okay. Uh, Don't reveal it. Oh, I can tell the title. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nobody will take it. They're, they're, do you know what they, when you go to a fashion, you know, I started all the fashion shows in New York. So I've got, before fashion show starts and the lights go down, the guys, the cameras at the end, scream at everybody, uncross your legs. That means that everybody in the front row has to uncross their legs because they, the cameras have to have a clear sight. Gotcha. And so that's the name of my book, Uncross, uncross Your Legs. Oh my, I love it. Yeah. I can't wait to read I, it, Stan. I gotta finish it, gotta finish it. You have got to finish I it. I will, I will. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, exploring in my Explorer. You're welcome anytime. I'll explore with you anytime. <laughs> thank you so much. I adore you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.